What are your specific proposals for raising revenue in the next four years? Oh, so, a lot of research. And one of the things I found is that there's actually a tax loophole that exists right now on airport parking facilities. Most St. Leonard's don't even realize that we have commercial parking facilities, but we do have some airport parking facilities. The difference is, off of 98th Street, if you park in a facility in Oakland, collecting an 18.5% tax that helps them pay for police and fire services. In San Leandro, tax is zero. The companies that are right inside the San Leandro border but share the same geographic value as the Oakland companies aren't paying a tax to San Leandro. I call this a loophole. Now, the research says that there could be up to a million dollars if we achieve parity with Oakland. And we can use that money to cover funding for police officers. Our COPS grant is about to expire in two years. Where are we going to get that money? Using this tax loophole as a sustainable solution, it won't lose the, those companies will not lose their strategic value, and it's something we can do soon. So here's the deal. We have to work on driving our public safety. If we can't lure business back, businesses to our community, then we're going to struggle with driving revenue. And you can see this in a lot of different ways. We also have to uh, ease our business policy a little bit, our city's business policy. We currently lost um, North Face. That was kind of a tough hit, in my opinion. That was, uh, they built a, a huge uh, center over in uh, Mita, and they employ about 460 people. So if you think about all those people that go to work every day there, and uh, if they were to build that facility, all the money you, that would be generated from permits, it would actually uh, be very beneficial to the city to retain and bring businesses like that. Um, no, I'm not talking about raising taxes here. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not down with uh, raising airport taxes. I don't know how the guy who uh, runs the airport parking center or who owns that place would feel if he lost his competitive advantage with an uh, Oakland facility, and that's what I'm talking about. I would raise revenue in the next four years by creating an ordinance to um, collect fines from banks from blighted, foreclosed homes. That's going on in other cities, and that's a way we can raise revenue from people who have the money, the banks. Also, I would raise revenues working with our existing businesses to expand. That way, that would increase our sales tax revenue from existing businesses. Thank you. The focus would be to bring in uh, small business, uh, medium-sized business, and commercial financing programs for our, our entrepreneurs. There's a lot of folks that I've talked to out there who says that they have to go out of town to get their financing. You bring it in, in closer so that they don't have to commute an hour just to get the financing. That brings the money local, and that encourage, encourages entrepreneurs to start up small to medium-sized businesses, as well as uh, bring in the uh, finances for existing businesses.